Hello, my name is Ronnie Rodriguez. I will be a senior with the Texas Tech Tech Teach Across Texas program. And today I'm going to be doing a third grade math lesson on equivalent fractions. <clears throat> All right, class, everyone get settled. Go ahead and get your notebooks and your pencils out. We're going to be taking notes today. Now remember, if I'm telling you to write it down, then what? That's right, it's gonna be on the test. And anything extra that you write down will only help you study when it comes time for it. All right, looks like everyone's settled. So today we're going to be continuing our discussion we started yesterday on fractions. Now, can someone briefly remind me, what's a fraction? Jimmy. That's right, did everyone hear him? He said a fraction is a part of a whole. So if I have a whole and I divide it up into even parts, then each one of those parts would be a fraction of that whole. Now, say here's my whole. It could be a cake or a pie. Let's make it a crumble cookie because I really like me some crumble cookies. <laughs> and me and my friend, we want to divide this cookie evenly between the two of us. So how many pieces does that cookie need to be divided into? Ava. That's right, two. And so when thinking about that cookie and being it divided into two parts, I give my friend one piece and I eat one or keep one. And so how would our fraction look? What is that bottom number called? Can you remind me? Yes, John. The denominator, correct. And the denominator tells us what? How many parts our whole is divided into? Perfect. So in our case here, how many parts is our whole divided? Perfect. Two. And the top number is called what? Kimberly. The numerator, good. And what does the numerator tell us? Yeah, the, the parts of that fraction that are in question. So in this case, each of us have one piece of that cookie. So what's the, the numerator in our case? That's right, one. Now, how much of that cookie, that whole cookie, do I have? Half, right. So one over two would be half because we have one out of the two pieces. Now let's take it a step further. We have our cookie. Me and my friends still want to divide it into two pieces, two even pieces, but I want to eat half of my piece now and half of my piece later, and so does my friend. How many pieces does our cookie need to be divided into now? Well, let's see. That's right. Two pieces. And each one of those, that's right. Two pieces. Four pieces. So that way I can eat one piece now, one piece later, and so can my friend, right? So I give my friend, I still give my friend one of those pieces, and I keep the rest. And that's an even trade, right? No. <laughs> that's right. Because I have three pieces now, right? And my friend still has one. So how many do I need to give my friend in order for that to be even? That's right, two. So I give my friend two of those pieces. What does our fraction look like? How, what is our, how many is that divided into total? Four, good. And how many pieces did each of us get? Two, excellent. So, oh wait, those are still, that's still half though, right? But that looks different. Go ahead and write this down. This is your definition for the day. Equivalent fractions are fractions that represent the same value even though they look different. And while you're writing that down, keep in mind our question of the day. Uh, what are two ways we can use equivalent fractions in our everyday life? You're going to write the answers down on that little piece of paper on your desk, and you'll be turning that into me at the end of the lesson for or your exit ticket out of class today. All right, so these fractions here, they look different, but they represent the same value. So just to give you one more example of this, let's take it one step further. We're gonna divide our cookie into eight pieces because we're weirdos like that and we wanna divide a single cookie into eight pieces. So how many of those pieces do I need to give my friend in order for it to still be an even trade? Yes, that's right, four. And that means that our denominator is what? How many pieces is this total? Eight, good. And we each got how many? Four. That's right. So, oddly enough, four over eight. Two over four and one over two all look different, but they represent the same value, right? So, they look different, but each one of those represents one half, okay? So, 4 over 8 is equivalent to 2 over 4, which is equivalent to 1 over half. I mean, 1 over 2. 
With that being said, is 4 over 8 equivalent to 1 over 2? Yes, that's right. So we can all identify equivalent fractions now, right? Go ahead and write down your answers to the uh, question of the day. And on your way out um, today, go ahead and hand me that slip and you're good to go. Thank you.